Order of graphical transformation. When doing operations between numbers, we typically follow the order of PEMDAS, which has us handle any multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. There is also an order to graphical transformation. If we see a function f of x, and it has a lot of transformations applied to it, a times f of bx minus c plus d, then we can rely on our good old order of operations for part of our order. The a and the d, numbers which affect vertical transformations, will behave as we would expect. We multiply or stretch by a, then add or shift up or down according to d. Since everything affecting the horizontal transformations happen the opposite of what we would expect, the order will happen in the opposite way as well. We'll shift left or right according to C, then divide or compress by B. For example, if my function f of x equals square root of x, and g of x is 7 plus 2 times the square root of 9 minus 4x, and we want to find the domain and range of g of x, we'll first write this in a way we're used to handling our transformations. Next, we'll consider the range, since it behaves nicely. The range of f of x is 0 to infinity, including 0. According to my order of transformations, I need to stretch this range by 2, leaving 0 to infinity again, since 0 times 2 is 0 and infinity times 2 is infinity. The range stays the same, but the graph looks different. Next, I need to shift up by 7 units. The range is now 7 to infinity, and this is the resulting graph. That's our final answer for the range, so let's look at the domain. The original domain of f of x is 0 to infinity, including 0 as well. Since we do everything opposite, I'll deal with the 9 first. It says plus 9, so we'll go in the negative direction, left 9. The domain is now negative 9 to infinity. Finally, I need to divide by negative 4. This is actually two transformations that we'll handle at once. It's a compression by 4 and reflection about the y-axis. The final domain is negative infinity up to and including 9 over 4. The final graph look like this. You can now find the graph of a function which has been transformed from another in multiple ways. You can also use these techniques to find the domain and range of a transformed function. These skills can translate to finding a point on a transformed function as well as describing transformations in order.